what we can end up doing is coming down. See, that's where I'm talking. So if we zoom out just a bit. When I grab this, I can just yank this in. That's my beginning, right? Oh. Forgot to unmute it. Yep. So we see now we line up rather nicely. Now I want to go over some other things. So we, what we've got is we played the tracks. This is a Tombstorm episode, and we've got some audio files that need to be dropped in because we talked about some. The whole point of this is a contest we do where we um, we all kind of practice and play some stuff. So. So you can hear it. It's me chatting. And then I know, like right here. Okay. So right here is where we're going to drop in this audio. So in order to do this, we have, right now we have all the files that's deselected. We got them all selected. Now we're going to add a split point. So if we just push S, see it gave us a split and move the marker head right there. So that's where the marker, it'll put a split right where the marker is on all the selected tracks. Now we can, we can uh, drag and select um, these three tracks. And we can, you can see here is some sniffing and snorting that uh, Mike was doing. It shows up more in the mumble recording than it did on his. And then we'll drag that back to where we start talking again. And now we got a nice clean break here. And we've got two different regions here now. And that'll show up separately in the region track. This is non-destructive editing. So this this has gone away. But if we drag this back, uh, whoops, undo that. If we drag this back, that's all the same audio there as it was. So now we want to import the audio that goes in there. And we can select that from, I should have that stuff right down here. So, oh, it's uh, probably in downloads. So here's the, the different tracks. I believe the first one was LSD's track, which should be a flak file named Toonstorm. If we double click it, It'll let us preview, but since we're at 44.8, it won't play it right. So now we get this kind of preview. Okay, hit OK. It's going to import it right at that where that marker head is. doesn't matter where it is. If we just click and drag it, we can kind of line it up in there. And now we've added in. So now we've added in this piece of audio. You hear it start to ramp up. And if you... Jump around, you can hear his track. Sweet, so now we got that. All right, so now we know how to split and move tracks. We select them all again, but we're gonna wanna shift them down from the beginning a little bit, and I'm gonna drop in, we'll do another session, import, and we'll go to here. Should be one called export.wave, and that is my intro to the podcast. So we can throw the intro, We'll drag that all the way to the beginning since that's what we want it. We want to select everything and then control select that so we don't have that. And then we start dragging this whole group in till we we'll zoom in a bit here. And we'll try to line this up nicely with the end. So that right as the music fades out. No, no, no. You want it to be on the fade out. So keep shifting that over. So there, as the bass fades out, we now have that there. So now I want to talk about normalization. You know, this is something that a lot of people talk about. Um, I should have done this right when the tracks were new, but if you want to normalize something, and that's what we're gonna, what it does is it tries to make the overall volume as uh, that the loudest that it can be to the loudest sample. All we got to do is select a region like that, and then hit um, N for normalize. 
and it'll scroll through that track and normalize it. Boom, normalized. That's all you got to do to normalize, okay? So if you've got disparate tracks, when, 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 what I should have done is when I first imported these, just gone ahead and these first two are the ones, this, this guy and this one are the ones that are going to need normalized. I could just select those tracks like that hit normalize, and it's going to normalize the samples. And then you'll see these pop up. That's all there is to it. Um, it's on a key. Um, you could always undo. Um, what you got to do is watch um, how many of these you do because it does take a bit of time to normalize. Um, that is more of a destructive type of option and not something we usually do in editing to, uh, to do stuff. I'm not able to get out of it now in a minute. So anyways, now you can see we're starting to get more complex. Okay, here, it finished normalizing. But I already undid it, I think. Yeah. So anyways, that's all there is to normalization. Um, the other trick I wanted to show you real quick was um, adding some compression. And compression is going to help evil out the overall volumes of things. So we're going to bring up our mixer window. Here's our mixer window here. And this shows those only all sequentially up. And so on my audio, I want to add a new plugin. And if you install the Ubuntu Studio plugins package, um, you'll get all of these plugins. My favorite is the SC4 Mono plugin. And so I'm going to add that to both of these. I have it set up as a favorite. Otherwise, you go to the plugin manager. It'll give you all the ones. You can search and type in SC4. There's the stereo and the mono. We want the mono because we're using mono channels. But I have it set up on a favorite. So we just have a mono. And then I have a basic preset already set up. Basically, for a spoken word, you want about a 6 to 1 ratio which is quite a bit of compression. Ten to, anything above 10 to 1 is considered a limiter. Might be too much for what we're doing. I want kind of a standard release time. I want the threshold all the way down. I basically want to compress everything in spoken word. And I want to have some makeup gain. So what this does is as the it takes the based on a curve. I'll go ahead and start playing back this again. We can kind of watch what it does. This is, this is the level of speaking and then as this gets up to the threshold it pushes down the volume so that it's it's not as loud and as that gets so so it, it makes the loudest quieter and then we use makeup gain to bring the overall level back up and that evens out the the highs and the lows in somebody's speaking voice so you're not straining to hear one part and then blast it out by another so this one what i usually do is you can watch and if you're watching uh, if we set this guy to post, we'll see what the output of this channel is. And then I go ahead and I can probably mute that. No. Uh, and then I want to switch that makeup gain as my kid interrupting. So let me jump to another spot now. And I push this makeup gain up till we get. See, we don't want it to do. We don't want it to do that, but we want to keep pushing the volume up till we get a, a pretty good, solid, solid hot signal out of the track. Um, that way, everybody can hear us without having to crank their headphones up all the way. Um, so other than that, um, once we're done making all of our edits, we can go ahead and hit export. Export session as an audio file. You want to pick left and right. And then 44.1, pretty standard wave. We can go out as an AUG Vorbis right from here if you're doing an AUG cast. If you're going to do to MP3, you can't do that from inside Arter. So we go ahead and export it as a wave. Punch export, it's going to put Jack into freewheeling mode. And uh, I, I can't do that now because that will mess up our recording. But And then it will export it out to a file in this folder named export.wave. Or you can just rename that. And then when you're looking to find it, uh, under under the name of our session file, I'm going to open this up. So what we have is a session right here. That's our session file. 
and then we have an export folder and it'll be right in the exports so that's my intro to using Ardor to edit podcasts and as you can see there's a lot of tools that uh, do things a lot quicker and a lot less intimidating than Audacity does I know some people are afraid but um, it really doesn't get more simple than that so until next time later <laughs>